Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Devin Rex for Art here. Welcome to part two of playing with uh, laser prints on the jelly plate doing transfers. Um, just to recap, these um, were sent to me by PM Artist Studios. I don't have a laser printer, but they uh, sent me these wonderful laser prints, a couple different packs. In part one, I made these two uh, prints. So if you haven't seen that, go check that out in part one. In part two, what I decided to do was to use a laser print in combination with um, magazine, to do a magazine transfer with an image transfer. So after I do the magazine transfer along with the laser print transfer um, together, I keep playing and I make a discovery that's new to me. Um, after talking to PM Artist Studios, um, I think they already knew about this, but I didn't understand that aspect. So um, I'll talk about that more in the end and you'll see like the second half of the video is devoted to that special surprise. All right, let's get started. One of the things I was thinking about was combining magazine image transfer with the laser print transfer. So we're going to try that. Try to pick my color that's gonna be my transfer color. So. For example, like the first print we did, we used blue for the transfer and black. Let's do dark purple. This dioxazine purple works pretty good for transfers, I find. So let's use purple. And again, you wanna spread it um, evenly and not too thick. So I'm just going to remove some Spread it so it's even. So here, I'm, when I rear off, that's when I'm removing paint. When I'm going back and forth, that's just sort of spreading it. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. It's maybe a bit too thin there, but we'll try it. So I'm gonna put him on the bottom. You have to work fairly quickly. Put this on the top. And put this in the middle. So we're doing the transfer all in one step. Rub, rub, rub. You don't want to rub too long because you don't want it to all get kicked up. I like that. Let's see if he worked. And he worked too, so that's pretty good. So I could still use him. I don't know if you can see that. He's like a purple man now. So I can use this as a secondary uh, transfer where you can still see the shape of him and the banner. So we're gonna do that next, but first we're gonna finish this print. So we're gonna let him dry. I think for paper, I'm gonna use um, something that's not gonna wrinkle. This is like a linen finish paper, business paper. I'm thinking like oranges and pinks, but we could do metallic. This might be a good spot for the orange metallic. And maybe we'll do a bit of pink near the top. Let's do that. So we gotta wait for him to dry. So he's pretty much dry. See, it really, you know, paint dries really fast here. So I don't recommend sticking your finger if you don't think it's dry because you're gonna pick it up. There's a bit of the paint blob there. I do love this orange metallic paint. It's a good one. And we'll do just a little bit of pink coming up from the top. So I'm actually gonna rotate this this way. So I'm gonna start here. I want him to be mostly orange so that we can really see his face. And we'll mix in this pink from the top. And here it's starting to dry. I'm just gonna have to do that across. I ended up mixing a bit of the pink in there because um, 
it was drying and I was getting a sort of like a blob in the middle. So it's not going to be quite as ombre as I wanted. So here's my fella. And this is, the edges are still a little bit wet. So I'll just dab that. That's what happens when you let your paint go over the edge. You get like a little wet. Just pull that away for a second. So I'm pretty happy with him. I like how he turned out. Um, you can So here's our image transfer, and that was all in one pull. So that's kind of, well, I guess it's a two-step pull. So that's kind of cool. And then you could like add doodles around him if you wanted, um, put some words up here, like, yeah. Maybe our Sticker Nation book has something about to think fast. That might look cool there. If you're interested more in um, that magazine transfer technique, I do have a video. Wow, that is super sticky. I don't even think I need extra glue. Let's just plop that down. I think. fast. Page done. So let's use this now. Let's try white. So instead of using the black for the pickup, let's try a white. Let's see what happens. I don't know if this is going to work. Spread that. We want it not too thick. I think that's good. So I'm gonna put this down. So where there was purple paint on this picture, I'm not expecting that to do transfer. But we'll see. Sometimes you get surprises. Oh, look at that. It all transferred. Well, isn't that surprising? Look at that. Huh. I'm shocked. Shocked, I tell you. I guess if I look at this, it's still shiny where the laser print is. So that is uh, surprising to me. I wasn't expecting that. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, we'll let this dry and then we'll do a pickup. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. I think that's pretty dry. And let's change up our color theme. Let's go with some um, metallic Pebio. I keep seeing PBO, but it's apparently it's Pebio, which I don't know if I'll be able to keep saying it like that. And this one's almost done. Just kind of do some blops. And use my smaller brayer to just kind of want like a random patchy look. And have a lot of paint on there. So we're going to just kind of So we can still see the pattern underneath, so we can be able to pick that up. I'm going to use my comp book this time to pick it up. And my comp 
notebook isn't as big as my plate, so I just use a little bit of copy paper in here so that I don't get my hands all messy. I still want to rub firmly. Let's see how that looks. There we go. And it's pretty subtle, like you can see the white transfer. So that would be a good page to add something on top. Now I doubt that this would work again because I don't see any shininess, but let's just test that out. I'm not expecting this to work. I just want to try it. I'll be shocked. I will be shocked if this works. Oh my gosh. Color me shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. It's like the laser print that just keeps on giving. That is crazy. Wow. I wouldn't have thought that that would work again. So after we pick this up, I'm going to try one more time. Why not? Let's see how many we can get from that. And it's, you know, looking more grungy, but that's okay. So I'll let that dry and then we'll pick it up. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and let's pick this up with, um, let's just go with red and orange. Okay, that's been a minute or so. Let's pull that up. All right, let's try one more. I, I, there's no way. There's no way it's going to pick it up again. But I've been wrong before. Let's try it. Oh my gosh. I don't believe it. That's crazy. Okay, I'll let that dry and we'll pick it up. All right, so there, it picked up with a bit of wrinkles, but that's okay. Gonna wipe that off because I'm curious to know. I think we said that was number four transfer. Let's see if we can get five. Again, I'm gonna say there's no way. There's no way. It's impossible. So here, like that's what we're starting with. Let's try it again. Number five. Holy moly. That's number five. So that was number five. A few wrinkles. It's a thin paper. This is what we're starting with. Again, I will be shocked if that pattern comes through again. Hey, okay. here goes nothing. Smooth out the bubbles. Don't leave it on too long. It's faint, but it's there. Wow. Can you see that? So I haven't watched a lot of videos about laser prints, so I don't know if this is uh, something that is normal, does it depend on the printer? Like I didn't print these I'm from PM Artist Studios. So obviously they have a good quality laser printer. So if you want to try getting multiple pull, I think that's number seven. So I guess I, if I look, I can still see the pattern somehow. It almost looks like a reverse pattern now. It's gonna let this dry a little bit because I, I did that last pull pretty quickly. Let's try this silver. There it is. 
it's still like pretty significant. Here we can see with the metallic where the paint lifted up and it's still resisting. You see those little black lines? That's the original pattern. So that's an original. And that's the one we've been doing. And you can see how it's where all these little fine black lines are on the original print, it's still resisting picking up the paint. I really like how that looks though. So in case this ruins it, I'm going to just cut a piece off and we'll put this in our painty paper pile. Again, that's the original laser print. So I'm gonna use this, we'll just put it in the middle. Let's just, um, if it works, this will be nine. I'm going to stop at 10. Like if it works again, I'll try one more time. And then I got things to do, girl. I got to edit this video. Um, it's been so busy around here. We having some work done to the outside of the house and the inside of the house. And it's been very difficult to uh, get videos recorded. I was hoping to do a live, but it's just too um, unpredictable about when people are going to show up. Okay, let's do gold, because I do like how the gold might look cool on there. Let's try this, uh, this gold. Now you probably can't see it, but it is there. Look. But it's there. Let's try one more. But now I like the gold part. So let's cut that in half again. Hold up my smaller plate. We're going to do, um, I'm going to use that piece on here. And this is number 10. And it worked. It's faint. Okay, so I think that's dry. We're gonna use this um, unbleached titanium. And this looks cool. So it's very faint. I don't know if it's because the um, it's just getting used, but that looks like an old Egyptian document or something. You see that? It's very fine. So to me, maybe 10 the limit. This is not a tutorial. This is an experimentation. So there, I layered the black on the copper print. Let's see if this will work. Let's try a bit more copper. That one worked a little bit. Let's see, maybe I'll show on top of this. So there you can sort of see it on there. So here's the final uh, print that we did with the magazine transfer and the um, image transfer of the laser prints. Um, I have to make a note that this um, little spot here. Uh, originally, I think I thought it was a fingerprint, but what it was was a bubble. So when you put your magazine uh, image or your laser transfer down, you've got to make sure you rub and get all the bubbles out. And I do go over that in my other um, video about uh, image transfers with using magazines. Now, and then you've got all these bonus prints, which um, to me was shocking, but apparently to PM Artist Studios, it wasn't a big surprise to them. So from that one uh, laser print of this pattern, we got 10 extra prints. And um, I think initially it was uh, the laser ink, like doing the transfer, resisting the ink. Um, here's one we did of a larger pattern, which also worked, but a bit more distressed. So I don't know if you know, this kind of pattern would give you 10 pulls. You could try it. That's, you know, that's the thing with jelly plate. If you're not sure, just try it. And um, I think eventually, though, uh, we were getting the imprint more, this is my opinion, more from the buildup of layers um, as the laser ink was resisting. The rest of it built up some layers. And so it was acting almost, I think, like a texture plate. 
but um, we are left with these very yummy, um, thick, thick pieces of uh, painting paper, metallic, because um, that's what I did the final three pulls with. Um, but um, like I said, the beginning um, PM artist uh, con did confirm with me when I was watching one of their lives that yes, in fact, you can get more than one image transfer from one print. Uh, whether you can get 10, I don't know. It might depend on, um, on the print, I think. But uh, I had lots of fun and I'll definitely, I still have lots left. I'll definitely be incorporating these in my collage and in my jelly printing um, in the future. And I really appreciate you watching my video. Thanks um, so much for coming. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're returning, I hope you enjoyed it and you'll keep coming back. And uh, please like, subscribe, share all those youtube -y things. And um, have a great day. Bye.